What the hell, guys? I just put out a vlog yesterday, and you're already doing dumb shit again. Whatever. I'm Buggy. Welcome back to Bagubudagu the Bug Vlog. Today, I am talking about some dumb shit that Amazon has pulled. Uh, Amazon just this morning announced that they have launched a service uh, called Anime Strike, uh, which is a anime streaming service that is, um... Well, it, uh, you... First of all, it requires Prime to use it. Uh, but two, you don't get it just for having Prime. You have to pay for an Amazon Prime account, and then on top of that, you have to pay an additional... I believe seven dollars a month, maybe six, uh, in order to get the uh, get the anime that you want to stream. Um, and uh, on top of that, it's not even available in you know certain areas. Uh, and like outside of the U.S., I'm not sure about the availability. I know in Canada it's not. Uh, U.K. I don't know. I don't think so. But basically. What's happening is you're getting these titles now that are being locked off from people. Um, they're, they're holding these titles hostage because no one else has the rights. Um, Scum's Wish, for example, is the big one. That's an airing anime that people are not going to be able to watch because they don't have Amazon Prime or because it's not even available in their area. Um, and I know that I'm not going to be paying, you know, $99 a year plus an additional, you know, I don't know how much per month to watch a, uh, to, to watch one show that I didn't even have strong feelings about in the first place. Uh, you've got, you know, th this is, this is why anime has a piracy problem. And Crunchyroll and Funimation have been doing everything they can to counter that. Uh, Crunchyroll has made it very, very easy to access anime. Uh, what they have done is they are providing simulcasts very soon after, you know, the shows come out. And those are for premium subscribers. But even, un like, even free subscribers get to watch these shows a week after they come out, uh, like, with ads, but... They still get to watch it, you know, when it when it comes out, like not too long afterwards. They have this back catalog that that people have access to, and they they've made it, you know, they're they're making a big impact in the community. Uh, they are like actively making people want to pay for their service uh, or use their service as opposed to, you know, pirating. Uh, Funimation has been at least taking strides into this. Um, they focus on things a little differently, but they're making dubs more accessible uh, to people, uh, and that's a good thing. Um, and like with Crunchyroll and Funimation working together, uh, that was because they wanted to do this for the fans, uh, to, to make sure that they had, you know, um, better access to anime that they weren't competing so that they could keep prices relatively low so that people weren't paying, you know, both services for what they're looking for. If people like dubs, they can go and pay for Funimation's uh, simul dub service. If they like subs and don't want dubs, they can go to Crunchyroll and, you know, pay for Crunchyroll's service and not have to pay for Funimation. And I think that that was a very good idea. Um, but then you've got these companies like uh, with with Amazon and Anime Strike, and that's that they're not the only ones. Uh, you've got Netflix now, who is holding Little Witch Academia hostage. They're not, uh, and that's like one of the most anticipated shows of the season. Uh, previously, the shows that Netflix had, people were like, "Well, whatever. I don't really care about them that much." But people were really, really anticipating Little Witch Academia. And now people aren't going to get Little Witch Academia for, you know, any sort of legal streaming until after the season is over. Uh, and that is not how the current anime sphere works. Uh, that is just going to lead to piracy, because anime fans like their anime, and they like it as soon as possible. Um, we, we don't like it when you 
say, okay, well, here's this thing that's airing in Japan. And like, it's not just anime fans who want that. Everyone now, that's how the TV model works. People want them as soon as possible. And Netflix is focusing on sort of the binge crowd. They're like, well, I'll wait and then I'll binge the whole thing. But a lot of people like to be actively participating in discussion as things come out uh, because Western TV has changed uh, drastically. They, they've gone, like, the ability to watch things that have come out recently at any time and not having to, you know, miss things, that, that's led to less episodic and more uh, narrative-driven shows. Uh, we've seen that happen, you know, in, in the West, uh, but anime especially. Uh, there, a lot of anime is that way, so fans like to be involved in these conversations as soon as possible. Um, we keep up with anime weekly because we don't want to miss out on what everyone else is talking about. And, fun, like, Netflix doesn't seem to understand this, and Amazon understands it even less. They, they seem to think, well, these people want this, so we'll make them pay for it. And the, the thing that's really egregious to me is that I believe anime is the only thing that they've done this for so far. They have not separated anything else off from Amazon Video, which, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe is free with Amazon Prime. Um, they've not done taken anything else and said, well, you have to pay extra if you want this. Uh, that That's not something an like Amazon has done with that. And I think doing something like that for just anime is a big, big problem. Because what you get then is you get it, like, you get, like, you're, you're holding the anime hostage and you're extorting more from the fans. You're asking the fans to pay more for this thing that they love when they shouldn't have to. No one else is being asked to pay more for this thing they love. Uh, we are being taken advantage of as anime fans. I think that that is absolutely excusable. And while I do not advocate piracy, um, I advocate piracy over paying Amazon and, you know, allowing their shitty business model to continue. They need to change that. Uh, and I think we can change that. We can go on Twitter or whatnot, we can send emails and say, listen, these are the problems that we have with your service, uh, and you need to change that if you want this service to be something that we use. Because um, <laughs> there are a lot of demands, but I think that they're fairly reasonable demands. Uh, people want, one, a fairly affordable thing. Um, and, an like, Anime Strike would be affordable were it not for the fact that you need an Amazon Prime uh, account. And I have nothing against Amazon Prime, but I don't use it enough for it to be worth paying, I don't use Amazon enough for it to be worth paying $100 a year for that. Uh, and that's, you know, $100 a year per anime, for anime, plus the monthly fees. Uh, that's, that's just ridiculous. Um, I, I don't think that we can reasonably be asked to shell out just for anime for that. Um, two, you know, we want it to be accessible on the devices we want it to be accessible on. Um, I'm happy with it on, you know, my computer, but I don't actually watch all that much on my computer anymore because I cannot hook my computer up to my TV. I don't have a bigger screen to go to. Uh, I don't have, you know, I can't lie in bed while doing that just because my, uh, my bed and my computer are in, in different rooms now. So I watch most of my anime, um, on Crunchyroll through the, uh, through my Wii U. Um, and... I, I don't think that Amazon, maybe Amazon Video has that, maybe there's that option, uh, but still, we want, you know, apps that allow us to play these on multiple devices. Uh, that's, that's why I don't watch a lot of Funimation stuff, uh, because I can't actually play it from my Wii U at the moment. Um, we want, we want to feel like we're actually supporting something, uh, Crunchyroll and Funimation are at least attempting to interact with the fans, and they focus on anime, uh, so we feel like we're actually doing something valuable by doing that. Uh, we want 
a sizable catalog. Amazon does not have a lot of selection at the moment, uh, from what I've seen, uh, just because they've only recently started getting into the anime business. Uh, Hulu was similar. Like, Hulu, I think, lost a lot of people when they were like, well, we're going to start removing a lot of our catalog. Uh, and I only had an, a Hulu account mostly to watch anime. Um, and then they started doing, like, really frustrating things like making it so that there was no uh, option to watch free. That's another thing that fans want. Fans want the option to at least watch something free because we there's a lot of stuff out there and it's split over so many things now. We have we have uh, Crunchyroll, we have Funimation, we've got Netflix, uh, we have you know, Amazon Strike now. We have uh, the Anime Network. Uh, sometimes, like, Daisuke's in the mix. Um, and the big reason I haven't gone to Anime Network, for example, is because they have some shows that I want, and they have a pretty decent selection. But they've got everything, as far as I can tell, locked behind a paywall. So I'm having to, you know, pay extra to get that. And I'm already paying for two different services, um... Three if you count Netflix. I'm actually not paying for that. My family's paying for that. Uh, but like, I'm, I'm paying for all these services already. I'm not sure I want to add another one, especially if like I have fewer streaming options with it. So, basically, if, if these companies want our money, they're going to have to understand our demands. And I don't think that they, they understand what we're wanting uh, from from them. Uh, Amazon Prime, or Amazon uh, Anime Strike certainly hasn't figured that out uh, with how they are essentially, again, extorting us. Um, and the, it's, it's very clearly corporate in what they're doing uh, because, you know, last last, last season, um, they, they had, or I don't know, last season? Fairly recently, like, they, they started adding anime to their catalog and adding airing anime to their catalog. And um, not a lot of people watched it because not a lot of people had Amazon Prime. But they're not going to get us to join by, giving, uh, by, by making us pay even more. That's ridiculous. They're, they're, there's not enough demand. They can't jack up the supply price that much, uh, because there is a ton of supply out there. You know, we've got these fantastic companies with huge catalogs that are, you know, giving us things at a very reasonable price at a very fast pace. And honestly, I have no idea how these companies do that. Actually, saying that out loud, that's actually pretty insane how well, they're able to provide good service at a good price uh, and have, you know, pretty high-quality content and have a lot of it. Um, and I understand that that's hard to break into, but you, you've got to give us something for free in order to get us on board, basically. You're going to have to make a good offer to convince us. And Anime Strike is not doing that. Anime Strike has served only to piss me off. Um, because they are holding stuff hostage, is, is what they're doing. Like, there, there's no other way to put it. They're holding anime hostage. They're saying, look, you can either pay us, you know, all this money for a few shows that you might want, or you can just go to one of the many pirating sites out there. Um, like, that's that. they're not saying that, and I really don't think that they would be they would want to say that but that's what they're saying to us they're they're saying it's okay to pirate because we're being ridiculous and unreasonable um and again i don't advocate for that uh but like i'm i'm just saying it's a much more appealing looking option and they have a responsibility if they want us to actually be supporting the industry uh, which they really don't, probably, because they have no stake in us supporting that industry. But if they want us to, like, 
they have to meet us on our level. They have to, they're the ones that have to change, not us. Because, like, piracy, piracy is their biggest competitor, and they're not taking steps to compete against it. I guess that's all I had uh, for this conversation. I'm talking in circles now, uh, but... Yeah, what the hell, guys? What the fuck are you doing? Bad decision. Bad, bad, bad business decision. <sighs> fuck Amazon.